Welcome back. In this video, we're again looking at the eyes, uh, ears, and extra details for our anime portrait. Um, in the manga portraits, usually uh, you have to have all those proportions relating to one another, whereas the size, the place, and the shape of those different objects. So in the last video, we left off here. And now we're gonna put the rest of our um, details in, everything except for the hair, which I'll do in a separate video. So to get started, um, you're going to work on the eyes, all right? One eye at a time. One of the things that make anime um, so, uh, anime is the huge eyes, right? And uh, in the eyes, usually the bottom portion, about this much down here, is going to be white. That's kind of the white of the eyeball, and the rest of it is colored, um, whether it's the black color or it's got an iris put into it. Um, either way, this part is the white part, and then there's usually a big shape up in the corner, either on one side or the other, depending on which way the light's coming, of the like shine in the eyeball. So that part is very important to make sure you've got, got those two pieces in for the eyes. Then there's usually a line about here. It's very small, just about that far, and to indicate the fold of the eyelid, all right? Then uh, you wanna do that on this other side so that it matches. Again, the shine, the light's kind of coming this direction, so we want the shine on this side again, and approximately the same size. And then we want the uh, white part to be approximately the same shape and size on the bottom there. The fold of the eye should again follow this um, curvature of the eye, of the um, uh, eyelash line. And now we need to make sure we get the ears on. The ears go from about the top of this line three to about the chin or the jaw line here. On a human, it uh, looks different. Like on a real human, it would be um, much higher up, as well as the eyes would also be a lot higher up. But you're gonna start about in the middle here, curve it up, curve it down and around to meet something like that. Now I've got this four in the way, so I'm gonna erase it, um, get that out of the way to do the next line. The next line is kind of like a backwards question mark. It indicates the top fold of the ear this direction, and then almost meets the jaw and comes out in like a triangle, like that. If you look in the mirror, you'll see that little triangle piece in your ear, and you'll see this kind of line there. Now, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, curving up, curving down, and around. That one's a little bit thinner than the other side, but that's all right. You can monkey with it to get it exactly symmetrical if you'd like. Um, and curving down, angle that triangle for the ear. Okay, now that you've got the eyes finished, the ears finished and in the right place, we'll work on the neck. The neck is always going to be just um, a bit smaller than your eyes. About uh, you, a human portrait, the eyes would, or the neck would come out right um, in the center, but for the anime, it's gonna be pretty close to the same. It's just a little bit, um, a little bit wider. Okay, so if I take my neck about here, sorry, here. You want your neck to come down and the bottom of the neck is gonna be, again, about the same distance from the nose to the chin, which in mine, I believe, was four centimeters. So the neck is gonna be about four centimeters long. And that's where the curve for the shoulders should come out. You, depending on if it's a male or a female, males are gonna have um, a little more horizontal slope to their shoulders, and females are gonna have a more um, diagonal uh, slope, just a little bit, not, not much. Um, so there's our finished kind of portrait with, without any of the hair or other designs. Okay, one thing that you'll notice about the proportions, um, if you've watched any of my other videos about how to make human proportions, um, I always say that the eyes go um, halfway uh, in the head. So between the top of the head and the chin, and that's 20 uh, centimeters here. Here's the 10 centimeter mark, the halfway point. The eyes should really be here in a human portrait. 
okay? So you can see the eyes are drastically lower, which makes the anime portrait very top heavy on the head, which makes it look very young and youthful. Um, that's one of the, the proportionalities of the anime. Also, um, this space here between the edge of the eye is also much smaller. Usually it would be about two um, centimeters here. Since my eye is four centimeters wide, it would be half that, which is two, but it's actually a quarter of that, um, or even less. It's like a half of a centimeter. So it's much slimmer or um, uh, smaller here on the edges, all right? Also the ears, if you know, if this is where the eye should be, the ear would really be the, about that large. So we've made it smaller and moved it down, which also contributes to um, one of the defining characteristics of anime. So again, for drawing our anime portrait, so much of it has to do with proportion and making sure that the proportion for an anime portrait is correct, having the sizes of things in the right place, having everything in the right place, and then having the shapes and the spaces in between those shapes correct. All right, in the next videos, I'll branch off and I'll put on different hair for either a male or a female. And uh, you can start designing your own anime character after that.